Now, as you can see from here, this nice little hard 90, and it was actually a harder 90 than that where I'm moving it. So this one that you see right here, and actually this door flap, that's supposed to be closed. Now you see this opening right here? Even though that you look at that opening and you go, well, that's not too open, but it's in the closed, it's in the closed position. Oh, it's actually open now. Why is it? It says closed. It's supposed to be open. But even when setting it and bypassing it, going yeah, all the way in the closed position, it doesn't close. So you would say, well, oh, that's only about 20% open. So maybe it's only leaking 20% airflow. That is not how door flaps work. Even though it looks like it's only 20% open, it's probably flowing about 80% of the airflow it possibly can than if it was straight and SRAM. It's not like a one for one comparison in your normal thinking that most people think. You think if you just open it 10 or 20%, it's only 10 or 20 percent airflow no you open it 10 or 20 percent and you might have 80 percent airflow going through there that's how that works so that is wrong and this is wrong this hard little kink it's really small in here when you look up in there so this one is going to come way out here see how this is going if you stand back and you see how i'm going like this this is going to go way out here it's going to come around gradually around this right here and this is nice and round so i'm going to use that as a natural bend so looking at this mess right here this whole plenum is going to get moved over like this coming more over here like this and this now when i pull it out straight and i get it smooth inside if you look how smooth it is now holding this towards me I am now getting blasted with a ton of air right into my face and you guys can't see it but I'm getting blasted with, with air when this is kinked and it's coming out of there and it's making that hard 90 very little air comes out when it's placed right there by the light but now that I stretched it out and I pull it tight and I pull it like this when I connect it here I just increase the airflow I didn't have to cut nothing, I didn't have to do anything. All I did was route it around, pull this over, and I have to do a little auto correction on there. Do a little correction. You see this one coming out of here? So we have this one coming around here. It's not too bad, but it's kinked right there, right where it enters. So by putting a hard 90 there, a hard 90 there, I'll increase the airflow to these two. I'll get this a little more straight going up into that mess over there and let me show you more clearly with some light so that supply coming right off there going there and then it makes a nice hard 90 where it lays down here it goes up and then a hard 90 into a plenum where there's a, uh, a Honeywell flap right there and then how about this beauty right here how about that coming out there see that nice hard 90 the way it's just like comes right out and comes right down and then it goes right into a 90 so I got to fix that we have to correct that somehow and get a little better airflow coming out that because I did all that work it did help I did all that work correcting all the supply out there and my son's working over there uh, I did all the work to correct all that but now this is the weakest link in the whole chain so i have to fix this and increase this airflow right here it's a 90 directly into the 90. i mean there's if there's a taboo a rule of thumb that you never do you do not put a 90 into a 90. Um, 180s and 90s right out of a plenum is like a complete no no so i have to do something even if i have to still do 90s i have to do something to correct that kink right there and that kink right there to increase that airflow for the return uh, i mean supply all right guys i'll be back